Good morning, folks. We've had yet another solar flare. Watch remains high for more eruptive activity. We'll take a peek at Mars in ultraviolet light. Astronomers find yet another new thing in stellar explosion science, and we have a curious observation that puts my head right back into Earth's magnetic field shift. As we start with the last 24 hours on our star, there was a fairly constant filament dynamic, but few eruptions. The flash bottom left was the flare, and perhaps it put out a weak CME, but it will not be of significant concern. We will have to continue monitoring all these eruptive threats, especially since the sunspot that unleashed both yesterday's flare and the X-class flare two days before is turning in to face the Earth. Both the active regions and the plasma filaments are active, not to mention numerous, with several plasma ropes in the corona crossing Earth facing heliographic longitudes. We'll have eyes on all of that going forward here, but right now, let's go to MAVEN. And the Martian satellite is delivering new ultraviolet shots of the red planet, showing subtle differences in ground return and atmospheric haze, and nowhere is that more evident than in the North Pole, where strong ozone signatures are seen. It's a seasonal polar phenomenon at Mars where it builds up in winter and is destroyed in summer, but this is by far the best shot of it we have ever seen. Astronomers are shocked to discover yet another new way to make stars go boom. With more types of nova discovered in the last six years than the previous 100, their surprise level shouldn't be so high, but it is. Demolition Derby claims here as they think the stars collided and exploded. Lastly, folks, something cool with a concerning twist. On Dr. Phillips' spaceweather.com, a colleague describes his new way to detect solar flares using Doppler effect in the ionospheric return of radio signals during the flares. He says he's been doing this for decades, which actually doesn't make it really that new, but most interestingly, he says the X1 on June 20th, three days ago, was by far the strongest and most dramatic signal yet. Really? An X1? That shouldn't have been able to top the marks of the other flares if he's been doing this for decades. So presuming he's telling the truth, what does that say about the increased vulnerability of our upper atmosphere? When an X1 breaks the marks of X20s from 20 years ago, you know something's not right. And that thing is the weakening of Earth's magnetic field and the ongoing pole shift, and the increased vulnerability of our planet to energy from space. We greatly appreciate your support. Be sure to check out the resources in the description box below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.